welcome to another episode of Luck Light Plays. We are continuing our run-through of Fa-Xanadu as part of the 8-Bit Obscurity series. We may be finishing this one this episode. Not sure yet. Uh, so when we last left off, uh, we got ourselves into the Fortress of Dartmoor and into the Castle of the Dwarves, which is this silver area here. Um, as I promised, I was going to stock up on items and get the tilt spell off screen, which I did. You'll see that magic at the bottom there, the tilt. And I made sure to buy a bunch of potions. So, this part is tricky. This monster here lets out these little ghosty guys, and there's a stupid poison that will knock us off the damn platform. So we need to get over here quickly and get into this area. And here is the uh, the king of the dwarves transformed into a dragon. And we're going to immediately use the hourglass. Wow, he hurt me pretty hard there. But I survived. So now he can float around, but he can't use magic at this point. So we're going to be as cheap as we can here and kill him. And he dropped the Dragon Slayer out of his body. And the hourglass is gone. Of course. So why don't we equip it? And it equipped our battle suit and battle helmet too, so now we are this super-powered soldier guy who still has to walk out of these stupid ghosts. Alright. So, a little bit of a secret backstory. Um, that dragon, as I said, was the king of the dwarves. He hid that dragon slayer in his body. He swallowed the sword just so that the evil one couldn't get it. I find that pretty ballsy and pretty awesome. So, as much as we hate the dwarves in this game for being, you know, horrible mutated creatures, there you go. Also, you've just defeated this King Grieve, King of the Dwarves. Evil one changed his appearance. Yep. Yep. He swallowed that damn thing. And there we go. Got the demon's ring. And that will lead us to the final, final area. So, let's march our butts back there. If I remember how to go. <laughs> Which I, I really don't. This, this may not be the finale. The next one may be the finale. Now that I think about it. Because I believe the last dungeon is very long and... Again, confusing. Or at least we generally know how to get out of here. Up this way. Thirty random bees. Come on down there, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Do you mind, mister? And here we are in the final area. The music sounds like dungeon music, but it's a little bit more upbeat. This is very random. Pretty much everything we've seen so far will show up in some way or another. 
I also don't know a damn thing about where I'm going, so... This is all gonna be shots in the dark. I don't think I've ever seen that thing before. Alright, take out that guard. Slash skeleton man, slash whatever. I think we're gonna have a hard time because we uh, have no magic power. <laughs> ah well. If we can get this done, we're gonna get it done. Thank you, Mushroom Man, for hitting me. And if it means, you know, using all my potions and doing it a cheap way. That's what we'll do. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Yeah, see, I went all the way around. Oh well, if it's a chance to heal. Hmm, maybe it's that way. Ah. Little bastards. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> not even not even dealing with that. We're going down. Let's see if we can make no, nope, I fell anyway. Well, see. Now you know what that is, I guess. I'm gonna jump down. More healing. I wanna see if I can get from... from this platform... No. Nope. I only pretend to know which way to go. Yeah, I figured as much. Alright, last time we went up that ladder, so this time we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Alright. Oh, hi, Wipin. And we're back at the end, Reds. Hmm. <laughs> I've touched poison. Oh, boy. Alright. We've got this rock dropper guy. And we're gonna drop down here again. At least we can, we're getting food. Right, get out of here. I think we went up last time, so let's go left this time. Of course, t after touching every enemy in the room. Ah, yes. There's ointment there, but... Hey, that's... That's the direction I wanted to go last time. Progress. Let's go up here. Yes, progress. We're gonna walk right by that guy. Oh, I try to anyway. There he is. Alien. No, just <laughs> he's the uh, they are the evil one, I'm shooting dangerous fireballs at me. Gonna keep up the pressure, keep an eye on my life gauge. And there we are. We've defeated him. He was a lot easier than I remembered. 
No, glad to have you there, King. So the, uh, the dwarfs are gonna turn back to normal, and the world tree is going to be by going back to normal, and the land will go back to it the way it used to be. What a restless guy. <laughs> and there we are, the world restored. As I march away. But not with, you know, any weapons or armor. That's a... It's a real bad, uh... Way to venture. Alright. And there's nothing past this point. So... Thank you for watching, uh, the first of the 8-Bit Obscurity series. Um... Can't tell you specifically what game is next, although I could give you a hint. It involves some Dungeons and Dragons. It is another RPG, and it is a uh, another game from my childhood that I was terrible at. So we're gonna see how good I do. Uh, after I've aged <laughs> for so long. So, my name is Lucklight. Thank you for watching the first of many 8-Bit Obscurity series, and have an excellent one.